whether it's me or somebody else. It's the process that matters. If you know how to use the process, yeah. the support is there. What, I want to talk about some of the methods you're going to use to try to uh, these delegates. Let me play something your former business partner, Roger Stone, said. Get you to react to it. We're going to have protests, demonstrations. We will disclose the hotels and the room numbers of those delegates who are directly involved in the steal. Appropriate rhetoric? I'm not giving them my hotel room. Okay. So do you, do you sort of... Dis no, it, do you, it, it, is that... Do you... Roger is not an official part of the campaign. Did he bring you in? No. Okay. In fact, not at all. I came in a totally different way. I've known Trump for 30 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, so when somebody started talking about the need to bring in additional people to deal with this process, friends of his were not at all from the political realm even, mm -hmm. uh, he listened and then he reached out. What is fair game to win a delegate? Is threatening a fair game? Is threats a fair game? It's not is my style. It's not Donald Trump's style. What is? Tell, but what it is, can you but do? it is Ted Cruz's style, and and that's going to wear thin very fast. You think he's threatening delegates? Well, he's threatening that there. You go to these county conventions and you see the, ta the Gestapo tactics, the scorched earth. Gestapo tactics. Gestapo tactics. Yeah, they are, that's a strong word. Well, you look at. So you, we're going to be filing several protests because the reality is, they are not playing by the rules, but. Frankly, that's the side game, because the only game I'm focusing on right now is mm -hmm. getting delegates. And the games that have happened, even this past weekend, and, you know, are, not, are not important to the long-term game of how do we get to 1237. But is he, I guess, what, what is fair game in getting a delegate? Is paying for their convention costs? Is it uh, can, uh, golf club memberships? What's fair and unfair in this? What's ethical, what's unethical? Well, there's the law, and then there's ethics, and then there's uh, get, getting the votes. I, I'm not going to get into what tax to use. I happen to think the best way we're going to get delegates is to have Donald Trump be exposed to delegates, let mm -hmm. the delegates hear what he says. He's done very well uh, so far in putting himself in position by virtue of communicating. You know, the, the key, on, in, is, I think, for delegates coming up, especially the unbound delegates, is the electability question. And, and right now, we're in a fight, and this fight is, causes the negatives right. to go up for all the candidates. But there's no question in my mind. There's not one state you can look at that, that Romney won a lost in 2012 that Cruz can win. Not one. But Trump changes the whole map. As we get into those arguments, which is the end game okay. of the end game, that persuasion starts to have an impact. You have uh, have some controversial clients in your past, uh, some current, some in the past. Has Mr. Trump asked you to um, s stop working for certain clients, stop doing work in Ukraine if it's against America's national security? Well, the work I was doing in Ukraine was to help Ukraine get into Europe, and we succeeded. Uh, but I'm not working for any clients right now other than Mr. Trump. Uh, and are, are you going to make a promise in the future that if he's president, you'll, you'll uh, be careful what clients you take? I'm always careful what clients I take. All right. I'll leave it there. Paul Manafort, new convention manager, thanks for coming on. Thank you.